Hey, it's Tamara from The Verge, and we're here at Ford's Product Development Center in Dearborn, Michigan, checking out Ford's approach to autonomous vehicles. The self-driving car space has been heating up in recent months as the technology is moving at a rapid rate. In August, Ford announced plans to bring a fully autonomous vehicle to the market by 2021 with Level 4 Autonomy. Level 4 Autonomy is when cars don't have steering wheels or brake pedals. So Ford uses three electric magnetic sensors inside of its autonomous vehicle, including Velodyne's LiDAR, a system that uses lasers to create an overlaid map and detect objects around the car. The next generation of LiDAR will be introduced this year to Ford's self-driving car. The LiDAR will be more compact and will enable cars to see further in the distance and help with left-hand turns. Ford also uses radars and cameras to understand the environment around the car. Now in two years, by 2018, Ford says that it will be offering rides to its employees around its campus using an autonomous car, and we're not entirely sure whether these cars will have drivers inside of them. But one thing is certain is that Ford is working very hard to ensure that they reach their goal of level four autonomy by 2021. So what does this mean for the future of transportation? Mark Fields is the president and CEO of Ford, and he told me that he thinks self-driving cars will minimize crashes and make the use of cars more efficient. Ford is working with regulators, Google, Uber, and other automakers to figure out exactly what autonomy looks like. In about five years, it's very likely that self-driving cars are going to be a very real thing. And the question is now, are we really ready to take our hands off of the wheel? So 